Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's NJ Thompson with ProofofGod.co. Tonight we got a very special situation. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need to come around there. To make sure I can click it. And here we go. <laughs> Folks, what you just heard there is actually during the sweep section that you're used to hearing between words, and it goes through the sweep section. And I actually heard this. This is the 319 section. I'm down to 15 sections. I actually heard this back when I first did it, and I think I just blocked it out of my mind. It was so unbelievable because a lot of times when I discover stuff, it kind of puts pressure on me to find what's the right thing to do with it. But what I want to share with you is this brings a whole new meaning to what Paul told us in this letter to the people of Ephesus in Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness into the heavenly places. Folks, what I believe you heard is some type of vehicle. You heard the sweeping and then you hear that noise that sounds just like what you would think. That some type of UFO or alien ship that, that's running off the energy of the earth would sound like. You hear the words in there, whether you recognize it or not. Let me come around there. I'll read you some of them from left to right. So it starts out on the left. You hear some poor guy basically saying, stop, in the horrible voice that brought tears to my eyes the first time. Then you hear somebody, a spirit, calling the devil a prick. Then you go into the spaceship sound. Notice here where I've got section five written. That's where I put, these are the scan sections where it's real thin. That's where I put section five, section six. So that proves it's right there in the middle of the scan section. Then it goes in this evil sound. And then you hear that vibratory computer-like voice going, I'll circle. And then you hear, I'll open. Then you hear, I'll dock her. And you hear spirit go, what an a-hole. So these beings are actually on the ship. Now, whether they're aliens or something the devil flies around in or Satan, I don't know. I'll dock her. And then um, the evil one himself, uh, the fecal, as the angels call him of the Lord, the angels of the Lord call him the fecal. He goes, Nick Bucket or Nick Buckle or something like that. Then they go into torturing somebody else because you hear we beg you and... And you hear an angel at the end go, life is cold, and then two spirits get mad. But, I mean, to me, it's just mind-blowing, folks. I really don't know, even know what to say. It's just incredible. Jenny, 
So what I want to do now is I want to show you a regular section. Um, you know, I don't know if y'all like it when my videos are long and I explain a lot or not. But um, so I want to make sure everybody really gets this. And let me come around. I probably could set this up a little more professional and organized. But do the best you can. All right. So now what I've done is right in here. This is section four. You see all the words. And this is a very typical sweep. See that? So I lower the volume there because it just goes, just makes that noise, okay? So let's go, oh, I think I need batteries in this mouse. I'm sorry. Come on. Okay, there's section three. Now, I haven't got all the words on section three, but there's the sweep section right in there. Okay, this is section four. I got all the words. So here's a sweep section and what it sounds like. Okay, we're going to go through at regular speed. <laughs> See, so yeah, I just lower it so you can't even hear it. Okay, the stuff in there with the spaceship, well, I'd have to turn it way up. Okay, see, so that's a regular sweep section. What I'm telling you, or sharing with you, here's section five, okay? About the same size now. So what I'm saying is this had a line through it just like this sweep section and just like this sweep section. But for the first time, I notice there was stuff, if you will, in it. So I'll go through it again, and actually I'll go all the way into it. But let's just go right into here for right now, so you can hear this is in the sweep section, and you hear some help me's down underneath there, etc. In the sweep section, we'll turn down the gain some. several help me's in there so far okay so whatever they're in or whatever they are so let's keep going <laughs> uh, it started over my bad all right let's go let's take it on down let's get okay so here we go right there I'll circle if you hear it again it's I'll circle uh, some kind of sick demonic or pitiful creature I'll circle here we go I'll even slow it down if you want to to 90 so 90% 90 speed that's the 
evil one himself, I believe, Nick Buckle or something, whatever that means. So I'll go back. This is at regular speed. I'll try to take out some of the gain. You'll hear I'll circle. <laughs> Alright, that was, we're not open. Let me try to find that. Let's do that again. We'll go down to here. Okay. Because we're not open. Dibs, meaning for when they are open. Jennifer, Jennifer, and that's that spirit has always been around and very supportive. I don't understand why she's trapped there, but there's a reason. I also have a sister-in-law named Jennifer, I think was in the house the night I recorded this. I don't know. There's that voice too that goes nothing. A lot of times you hear it go nothing left to say. It's, it's some uh, voice that the evil one owns or can make it say whatever it wants. Some of this stuff gets pretty rough. I'll continue on until we close out this. <laughs> All right, so pretty amazing stuff there. Um, the main two things that it's, it's just the humming sound, and it goes, I'll circle. It goes, I'll dock her. Let's try to hear that real quick. And again, I'm sorry if it's such an unprofessional delivery on my part, but I decided to do this after thinking about it tonight. Um, I think it's right in here. So you've heard, uh, I'll start, you hear the evil sound come through the, yeah, right in here we should hear, I'll circle and I'll dock her. I'll dock her right there. Okay, so that is right. Let's try to keep playing that over if we can. And then they got the end. The spirit goes, what an a-hole. And I've got all that in the full version, okay, on the full 319 version. It's 42 minutes long. It's an entirety. Okay, but right there you heard Al Docker. Let's hit that again. I'll give you some more volume. I'll turn the gain all the way down. All right, so let's bring a little pers perspective to it. Let's try to get some of the humming sound. So we'll go back to here through I'll circle and I'll dock her. Here we go. Do you hear that right there? It's either Nathan or help me right in here. I mean, it's just horrible. It's horrific. It really is. What can you say, folks? And for those who are detractors, we've only got, I think, one officially. I mean, look, you know, it's probably a good time to go ahead and say, I'll record these 
audio sessions. Let me see if I can bring it over here on this screen. I'm going to see if I can grab something. Okay, so POG, proof of God, that's the hard drive, okay? Folders by date, okay? So all these different sessions starting back last fall, going all the way different through all these days. That's all the content we've got. But let's go to 319. So those are all the recordings or content, not recordings, they're just duplicates of the same that go into here. Um, what I'm trying to say is they just come straight off. Let's do 227. All right, so whatever that is, I recorded a few items. That's not 211. I know there's some stuff. So the recording just comes straight off it. I put it into here, and then I just go over there and open Audacity up and put it in the program, and I start reducing the noise and uh, amplifying the volume where I can so there's really nothing to fake in the video cameras the video camera um, so somebody had said I was a fraud recently which I'm sure everybody understands the humor in that but I just wanted to make sure everybody understood that this is really as simple as using the, the device PSB7, which I record, uh, encourage anybody who doesn't believe to go get one, and that just goes out into the recorder. Can you see the re the recorder? Okay. Sometimes I'll take from the recorder and go straight to the video camera, uh, but at the end of the day, that's it. And I use Windows, Windows Live Movie Maker, and I put both the video and the audio in there. So that is how it's done. Okay, let me stop this and add this in. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm trying to just feed you guys some content. You see how much I have, so don't worry about the fact we're not really making any new content. The Lord will guide us which way he wants us to go at that time. But this is what gives us the power, folks. That right there. And, it, and it's real clear. I mean, a guy asked me the other night in a, in a message. He said, you know, what verses and things do you read? Here's an example. I have a card like this with verses and this prayer for instance okay that I carry with me and I have these everywhere biblical based prayer for casting out evil and healing um, you know and it says like okay you know in a strong authoritative voice you know I address Lucifer aka Satan uh, evil spirits uh, you have no power over me and I claim God's free gift to me that was bought and paid for through a blood payment of immense pain and suffering through his son Jesus Christ because of the death that Yeshua suffered and his blood payment. You have no authority over me. I am binding you, casting you out, blah, blah, blah. Um, Mark 3, 14 through 16. Then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and they might send them out to preach, have power over heal sicknesses, and to cast out demons. Man, God's uh, word is perfect. He never breaks his word. His integrity is 100%. He never goes back on it. So when he writes in Matthew 10, 1, and when he called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of disease. Man, that's it. Bam. That's it. And, you know, I will be frank, other than my addiction to nicotine, I have no darkness in me. I have no darkness in me. I have no evil in me. So evil cannot get a foothold in me. I mean, I live, eat, and breathe. Jesus Christ, my relationship with the Father. So through Jesus Christ, dying on the cross and his blood payment, that's it. That gives me righteousness forever to come to the Father. I am a child of the living God. And, and a lot of people confuse the fecal, Satan's role or powerful. Sure, he's powerful, and you better respect that power, but his equivalent is not God or Christ. His equivalent, if you will, his nemesis is Michael, the archangel, or Gabriel, or someone of that status and power. It's not God. God created him. God has him on a leash. He can jerk him around like a turkey. He can stop him. He can bury him. He can do it ever he wants. Okay, so... I didn't mean to go on a tangent, but I wanted to point out a few of those things. That through Christ, through his death, through me claiming 
these promises and coming against evil and binding it with the blood of Jesus Christ, that's where the power and authority comes from through Christ, not through Nathan or the way I say certain words or certain verses. That was Christ, his gift to us. Okay, so the only thing that you can control is, of course, one, your belief in Christ and salvation, but number two, the sin in your life, the darkness, the more righteous you are in him. Uh, it says in the book of, whatchamacallit, you know, seek ye first his kingdom and all these things, all these, and it mentions righteousness will be added unto you. Seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, that's the way it goes, and then all these things will be added unto you. So righteousness is the key, okay? Get in the word and pray and have a relationship with him. I literally, it's the first thing I think about, the last thing I think about to go to bed. I don't put any bad movies dirty movies, any of that. I mean, I'd just rather stick my head in a sewer than do that. So it's a total absorption in this relationship. It's not torture. It's delicious. I crave it. I sometimes just listen to praise music and just start crying. I mean, that's why I hurt for, the, for lost people so much. They don't realize that this is real and they can have this. Anyway, I love you guys. I went about five minutes longer than I meant to, but thanks, and let's see how this turns out, okay? so unbelievable because a lot of times when I discover stuff, it kind of puts pressure on me to find what's the right thing to do with it. But what I want to share with you is this brings a whole new meaning to what Paul told us in this letter to the people of Ephesus in Ephesians 6 verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness into the heavenly places. Folks, what I believe you heard is some type of vehicle. You heard the sweeping and then you hear that noise that sounds just like what you would think. That some type of UFO or alien ship that, that's running off the energy of the earth would sound like. You hear the words in there, whether you recognize it or not. Let me come around there. I'll read you some of them from left to right. So it starts out on the left. You hear some poor guy basically saying, stop, in the horrible voice of here. We go. you just heard there is actually during the sweep section that you're used to hearing between words and it goes through the sweep section and I actually heard this this is the 319 section I'm down to 15 sections I actually heard this back when I first did it and I think I just blocked it out of my mind it Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's NJ Thompson with ProofOfGod.co. Tonight we got a very special situation. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need to come around there. Let me 
sure I can click it. Yeah. 